wants cards. <laughs> Nobody yeah. wants baseball cards, football cards. None of us. And I do have a little. No, I don't want any cards from you. Dang. I've never ever tried to buy a baseball or a football card ever, not once, never in my life. I don't care. Don't buy me a fucking football card that I never wanted. I'll be so stoked. You weren't. You probably wouldn't give me anything, anyways. God damn it! You won't give me anything, anyways, Danny. I don't want dirt either. <laughs> wow. wow. What's your favorite player, though? Oh, I, I thought you said you, dirt. I asked you what your favorite player is. That boy is, dirt. No whiskey. Dirt. That boy I, dirt. No whiskey. It sounds like you're still saying dirt. <laughs> hey, man, quit talking shit about my fucking team, man. Like hey, man, yeah, quit talking shit about my You're still saying average. dirt. It for sure sounded like you said dirt both times. Watch hey, how far you back up. Don't hey, even that camera again. We, hey, can't, we can't have two Sorry, consecutive camera dirt. hit weeks. There you go. I guess I'll yeah. see you in doing episode 61 because I'm about this close to just putting these oh, headphones up and out. I'm out. In, huh? Just give me Dirk, all right, for my right, birthday, no, all right? Dude, I ain't giving you fucking shit for Well, then why'd you fucking bring it up now? <laughs> God damn it, Danny. Get off of eBay. Get off of eBay. Right. Get on fucking Safari. Right, so Get your pin out. Get ready to look shit up. Get ready to look shit up. The boys, the fucking Growler boys are going to bring the hot fucking heat. The hot Because we're fucking heat. flaming right now. Dude, I'm fucking pissed We got off. the momentum. We're ready I'm to fucking, fire off. I'm fucking pissed at all you guys I, I, right I, I, now. Every time we do this, you got to read off what's on my uh, search. No, we don't have to do shit, Danny. Let's just start this episode. Danny, we fucking started. We're the stars. You're in the background. <laughs> Danny. So shut the fuck up for 10 minutes. You do have A and B on there every time, though. Why do you why do you Safari search A and B every time? Just download the app. I, I have the app. I don't know why A and B is in there. Mine has YouTube. Ass nuts butthole. Like, <laughs> Are you into ass nuts butthole porn? Astronauts, nice boys. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Astronauts nosebleeds. I don't know. What the hell is J part? See see if you can fucking uh. See if you can unlock your phone and turn it the other way. Yeah, it'll fix itself. There we go. That beautiful. Looks beautiful. Yeah, you've been trying to get a nice bait caster? <laughs> bait caster, Bill O'Brien destroying the Texan <laughs> Bill O'Brien petition. <laughs> destroying the Texan. That's true. That is, those that's are, those true. are some fucking good ones. <laughs> those are good. I do like how you were looking for a nice new bait caster. What? Though. Oh, bait caster for fishing? It's a fishing reel, yeah. It's a, it's a very advanced. Because I always bird nest. That's what she said. Yeah, it's very advanced uh, fishing style. Hey, you know the Bass fishing is basically all it's for. That's how. That's what you're supposed to do yeah, when you cast a bait caster. If you're supposed to watch it, and as soon as it's about to skip the water, you. I can probably speak for me and Jesse. Don't know what the fuck you guys are. I have a slight <laughs> idea what they're talking about, but I'm actually banned from fishing in New Mexico for the next two years. I can't get a fish in life. Oh, well, I have to pay a fine. Why did this not connect, dude? Oh, yeah, that happens. Um, you can bring it up if you want to. Oh, also, no, you dude, already did. Oh, I mean, you're shit. kind of already there. But, yeah, shout out to our boy Colton. Um, he's got to go find me going right now for it. He uh, had a... Our boy Colton, he had a firework it. accident, blew his hand up. And, uh, Fucking soundboard. I mean, I, I don't want to, like, down. You can, yeah. real quick? he can still fish, man. He's still, he's still got it going. He, he seems like he's in very good spirits with the whole thing. I thought maybe if I touched the keyboard, it would work. Hey, yeah, man, good dude. He He's right. he's in good spirits about the whole thing, so shout out to him. I do um, need a favor, though. Um, this. Can you go grab my computer charger? It's in the, you know, those, like, long white drawers in the dining room? It's in the second one. It should be. I forgot to bring my computer charger. And we can't have the fucking, we can't have this fucking audio stopped again, dude. Are we good? Uh, I mean, Jaden's getting my computer charger right now, and then we'll be good. Soundboard's not working for some reason, so it's whatever, though. We're always getting uh, into something. Here. There's always something, dude. It never fucking fails. Hey, man, listen. This is my Friday. I had a long week at work of fucking <laughs> pulling on my putt and watching Twitch. Hmm. I'm ready to drink some beers with the boys, get into some fucking deep shit. You know what I mean? Talk some shit. That's what we're here for, to have a good fucking time. I never looked at this growler pot as a chore, but Danny, you're starting to make it one. 
Hey, man, what we got drinking over there, man? Man, we got some fucking fire-ass bullshit. I don't even know. I didn't even check. Oh, it. Why is it not working, dude? It's pissed me off. God damn it, Danny. What is that? Give it that first. Yeah, let me get that. This Clean is the, it on the desk. This is the mixed Slime Lime IPA. The slime PA. That's we got a, the fucking uh, soda, soda Pop Shop Crop Top. Just plug it Soda Pop Crop Top and the fucking Piggly Wiggly Wop. The what juice, the hell are you trying to tell me about here? The Juicy J IPA over there. That's I mean, a great name. DCJ IPA. Is it really what it's called though? Like you're not you're not bullshitting me? No, no. Bullshit. That's a uh, that's that fucking vanilla cream ale we've been drinking for like fucking four, uh, four for or five weeks. About two years now. Yeah. yeah. And then uh over here we have um Ponda said uh, the way that the way the haze goes. So there, there really wasn't a juicy J I P A. The way the haze goes is pretty good. Dude, if there's not a juicy J I P A, he should probably look into that. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Like fucking like weed and lean. Yeah. I mean, for sure, the, the the can would be purple. Oh, this 100%. is pretty hoppy. Holy shit, do you get that aftertaste? Oh, yeah, that's that's activist. Oh, we actually <laughs> use fucking weed instead of hops. In oh, this yeah, shit. actual weed. Like, yeah, you're going to be tripping pretty hard. You throw mushrooms in there and pills. Oh, look well. at that shit that Wiz Khalifa was drinking. This in is that actually video. just. This is called an IPA, but it's actually just lean weed and fucking mushrooms. It's really not even beer at all. That's all exactly what Jesse just said. It's just like ayahuasca with fucking uh it's like a hey, badass yeah. concoction just it's just like it's just like real. a bottle of smart water with fucking mushrooms, <laughs> weed and fucking lean Get in it. A. Yeah, you're just fucking tripping as soon as you they're Get like the letter A. Oh dude so you got one that had special K in it, dude. We just throw whatever the fuck we feel like. It's gonna just to make Hold you it. trip hard. <laughs> we all know you're just trying to drink it for the special K, so like uh, who are you trying to kid here? The keyboard's just not connected. Hey, hey dude. fucking hell, dude! It's all good. I mean, we're really trying our best here, though. I mean, I could fix it, but I don't know. Is it worth it? All right, so uh, fuck no. one, marry hey, one. We don't kill use one. it that much. Fuck one, marry one, Watch, kill one. Or? This is gonna be the one where we need them all. We're like cha ching, cha ching. <laughs> Just fucking. <laughs> it's gonna happen. God damn it, dude. So what's going on? Are we just about to kill the I world? I've just been thinking about Wonderland a lot and how after not going there for the past six years, I'm not gonna probably not be going to be able to go this summer because of the COVID. When's the last time you – six years? Is that is that your mark? It's That's, been a long time since I've gone to Wonderland. I can't remember the last time I went to Wonderland. Dude, I think the last time I went to Wonderland was uh, that fifth grade trip. I can't remember what kind of wow. person I was last time. So it's time been even there. longer for you. I was probably still <laughs> That's your new Instagram name? Jaden just changed his Instagram to Juicy to? J-I-P-A. Oh, for real? Yeah, That's good. We should get that going. Nice. All right, Danny, what are you doing? Ah, who fucking knows, man. No, but uh, <laughs> there's this How one. old were you in fifth grade? Ten? <laughs> so I haven't been to one in 20 years? I went and played mini no, golf. No, you're older than ten. When was the last time? You're there? 11 20 at years. least. Oh, in fifth grade. Uh, dude, I think you're ten, man. Well, you're 14 and... Eighth or ninth? No, you're 14 in ninth grade. So you're at least you're 10 or 11. Okay. In ninth grade. grade. Well, I was born in June, so I yeah, always you're, you're 14. And I 15. always turn like the year that you're supposed to be yeah. the oldest when we're out of the grade. Yeah, so sophomore year is when you. So turn like, if 16. you're supposed to be 11, I'm 10 the whole time, and then right when school gets out, I turn 11. Mm, 11. Makes sense. Ben's not 11. The last time I went to Wonderland, it was like right after I got out of the Navy. I, I went on a date with this chick. We went to go play putt putt golf. Nice, yeah, that's was. Yeah. And it was so too hot, so I was like, "You wanna just get out of here and go see a movie or something instead?" It's hot out here, so like we went to go see a movie and it was like boring. And we're like, "You wanna get out of here?" And we left and we were making out and we fucked. Nice. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> see, dude, like, this is fucking soundboard material right there. <laughs> did, did you finger her at the <laughs> movie theater? <laughs> no, it's. Girls on picnic dates. Picnic? What the hell? Picnic. Dates. picnic oh, this ain't the nineteen sixties, bud. Picnic. I went on a picnic. No, I've never time. gone on a picnic. Did it date. work? Did you get your finger? I think it I mean, really it worked. Like a date. I mean, I it was a girl I was dating at the time. It was oh, just I see. Like yeah, a, if you're it dating was just like a girl, something we did. If you're already fucking her, and like that's like part, that's like something <laughs> yeah. you do. Yeah, like hey, if you're you not here, you want to go have a fucking picnic. Like that. You don't yeah, take yeah, a chick you're not fucking yet. You, you, don't, you, you don't picnic in the playoffs. Yeah. Is what you ain't, you ain't getting in there. You, you don't picnic in the playoffs. Yeah, that's man. some simping shit. You save a picnic for the Dude, fucking finals, bro. Dude, you don't get you don't give her that picnic unless she gets that wet dick first. No, exactly, dude. Yeah, picnics is like a finals move. It's like when you're trying. To you get want a picnic? MVP. You better take this slick dick. Right. Yeah, that slick dick. 
Obviously, you weren't learning the hard way, Danny. You're just a simp, bro. I just realized you had Lola. I've had Lola the whole time, man. Nice. You living it up, Lola? Yeah, she's like a snake right now. She's just like... I'm holding her the way like someone would hold like a boa constrictor in a fucking cool video. like. And she's enjoying like, I'm just every like, I've got second. this fucking sick boa, and she's just, yeah. She's, yeah, we're, we're, we're in good, in good uh, precaution, protocol, protocol, yeah, we're in good protocol over here with fucking Lola. Lola. Yeah, man, but definitely. We're really trying to get her through. Danny, you got to shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> we're trying to talk. And it's like having a fourth person. Yeah, it was almost like last week. Ah. Oh, oh, could have had a gunshot right there. <laughs> Danny zooming in on me to show my fat gut. He was fucking mad at me. Now you don't want to say nothing. All right. <laughs> Motherfucker, dude. Jaden, see if you can fix it, dude. I mean, it was our second week at the Georgia Just Street Tap House, and it felt more normal than little, ever. Yeah, Georgia Street Tap House was popping uh, off. All the shorties working there have been really killing it. You see next to the Wi-Fi logo? All right, I'm Click that. What? Bluetooth unavailable. Huh. Oh, all right, then. So the it's never said that dead. ever. No, I don't, this keyboard's not dead. There's know. always something out here. I don't know. You can just leave it alone. It's all good. Wow, dude. I'm fucking furious about the keyboard. Don't worry about it, man. We'll get over it. Yeah, we'll fucking get over it. Yeah, we'll get over is, the hump, man. We're always getting over the hump, and we're also always humping. Yeah. For all I know, we are the hump. <laughs> we get over it. You know, like when you fucking, when you're trying to get over a hangover, and you wake up in the morning, and you fucking slam a bottle of water, and you... You're drinking it as hard as you fucking can, and you know you're running out of breath, and you just you just want to keep drinking it, and you finish it, and you're all... <sighs> <sighs> yeah, dude. And every one of those breaths is you know just a feeling? step closer to I know recovery. the feeling, man. I know the feeling of trying to find the balance between coffee and water when you wake up hungover. Oh, uh-huh, dude. I know the balance. You got to drink the whole thing, and that's, that's it. You, you gotta, have to. You have to pound a whole bottle of water in the morning. You have 100%. to. One hundred percent. Doesn't matter if it's this full or all the way. Full. And then you gotta sip some coffee. You can't drink too much because then you'll have a headache. Yep. And then you gotta drink a little more water, and then you know just slowly rehydrate yourself while getting the energy from the coffee, the caffeine. You know. Dude, same thing with orange juice. So like, you ever drink orange juice when you're hungover? That shit hits, dude. dude yeah, that's like that shit meal. does. You dude, know why? Like because meal, that vitamin bro. D, bro. Vitamin D is so underrated. That vitamin oh, C, yeah. that vitamin D, that shit's getting in there. You're just like, you feel it coursing through your veins. Like, yeah, this is bringing me back to That's life. That's one of the main yeah. things is just pounding, like, your fucking vitamins and shit after Dude, being hungover. Yeah, it's like taking that shit. It's like taking the sun straight Just hit that veins. young GNC. Like, just got open that GNC store you got inside of your house, inside that little cabinet. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. You're just, like, popping fucking some fucking glutathione, some fucking calcium. Fucking, fucking, shakes. I've been taking all... I've been deep throating all my pills, just taking like fucking 10 pills and just nah, fucking you gotta, tossing them in. You gotta get it it literally fucking. takes like, you got to drink at least half, like three quarters of the bottle to get rid of the pill taste. <laughs> <laughs> and, hey man, and it fucking helps you drink more water, so it works. You got to get that fucking mortar and pedestal, baby. Crush that shit down. You know? Snort them. Yeah. Get yeah. It oh, dude, yeah, yeah, dude, straight, straight that in, way. Man. Put a little cocaine in there with them so it dude, knows your throat. You'll be <laughs> yeah, feeling dude. good after that. You know what? When you do your cocaine, just put vitamins and minerals in there. And the next thing you know... You're fucking doing blow, but you're also being healthy. But you're the healthiest man alive. You're right. And talking about being healthy, I say we should uh, speedball a little Molly and some codeine tonight. (laughs) Yeah, dude. Just as long as we got some vitamin C and D in there, we're good. Yeah, Yeah, I got some vitamin C in the cabinet. Fucking chase it with some OJ. Speedballing's okay as long as you have your vitamins. And you'll be chilling, dude. I mean, yeah, we'll definitely be chilling. Fire off like four push-ups just to keep the chest nice and healthy. Four. Why not eight, man? Why not eight? I mean, if you want to push it, I'm just saying I don't want to be. <laughs> hey, just, you guys did this shit last week. <laughs> I just don't want to be too sore in the morning. You he know? said four. You do four. I'm gonna do eight. You do eight. I'm gonna do sixteen. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, saying, no, I'm saying if I you want to just not be too sore, I you just, know, you can do sets of four instead of then you get you get to eight. You don't have? just bust out eight. Then you're stuck at sets of eight, and then you're going eight, sixteen. And then next thing you know, you're going to failure, and then you're fucked. Look, man, I just, I'm just not trying to have my boy sell himself short here. I'm not listen, dude. Mostly, m- most, no, you most you want to do is sets out. of five. 
Because then, if you're doing two anything more than five, you're gonna you're gonna be where it's starting to hurt a little too much. I'm you thinking know? about you though. Yeah, I get well, you, man. You want to see these pecs pop off, and I understand that. <laughs> I'm not thinking I about these. Th- nobody wants to see the pecs pop off more than me. Okay, I want the pecs. Well, I'm just saying, dude. I'm not like talking about all these average people. Like I'm thinking about you, bro. I know, man, and I'm and I appreciate that honestly. <laughs> I'm saying so, you know. Like, you guys remember when Jesse was fucking out of his mind and was doing 100 push-ups a day? It was like episodes, I think we was in the 20s maybe. It was yeah. all January. I mean, we were doing I good, did 100 though. push-ups a day for January. like 18 days of January. Then I fell off. Yeah, we and guess what? We were January, so it was probably in like 30s. Then. It was all about the hmm. I can't, I don't even know. Well, I don't it, know. It was better times then, all right? Jesse? Oh, I guess that's not what, too John far Cena? Off from what I'm fucking saying. John Cena? Oh, God. <clears throat> come on, come on, come on, come on. Lola, we should just get you a fucking dog bed for the table. <laughs> yeah, right here. You were doing she would chill. She would. She's no, I just had to go. I had to like go like that on the app. So I had an app that it felt like you got as soon as you got close to the phone, it would count it, but it wouldn't count it right all the time. So I would just do the do do five and go like this: one, two, three, four, five. So he cheated. <laughs> no, no, no. I did the five. <laughs> I'm just fucking kid. Yeah, I was doing the John Cena. We would be like in the kitchen drinking beers and shit, and he's like counting shit out, but he's really just sitting there. And then we come in, he's like, ah, "We probably." And then he's just like, "Oh, they, they didn't count them." Yeah, I didn't count all of them, <laughs> so I gotta fucking ma- manually do it. We probably shouldn't get this beer again. <laughs> the cream, dude. Soda? We've had it for straight up like four weeks. We probably shouldn't get it ever again. Well, today they had a, a malfunction with their tap, so it was that or nothing. I was like, "Yeah, fuck it, why not?" Okay, you always, just all, it's some... always if there's that or nothing. It's you always... It was just... that or nothing. He was like, you can have that or uh, the pr- uh, prairie slush. And I was like, I'm not I'm not even feeling sad. Dude, I don't today. even know about that. Like, you say prairie slush, and that just gave me a bad vibe. Listen, See, dude, you should have said. I like it, but I'm not. It's no, not I'm just saying, yeah, I like it, too. But that just, the word just like prairie yeah. slush. What's up, just... Jesse? Get your two cents in, baby. You should have just told him to fill it up to here with grease and then have the kitchen staff p- piss in the rest of it. <laughs> Should dude. would have been a better drink. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> sure, it's a great drink. We just you, no, y'all are just too used good. to just yeah, fucking just... cooking this company. I'm just trying to drink it. <laughs> I have to say, it ain't going down as smooth as it did four weeks ago. Shit, you guys ever think about getting the uh, monthly it's subscription? Good. It's good, but it's just a monthly want, a monthly package. What? We run a free here, uh, dude. Have you ever done it, Nick? Still firing me. What? what do you mean, monthly package? Where you pay like forty dollars and they send you like a twelve pack of different beers or oh well, what is that fucking different app called? breweries? Is like monthly beer club? Something like it's that. It's not called that, but it's like probably that. easier yeah. shit. Maybe if Danny would yeah, Danny should probably look, look up. up. Yeah, monthly beer. Danny's club. Danny's still looking up fucking baseball cards and shit. <laughs> God, he He's literally bidding on fucking base football cards right now. All right, dude. Well, that's not what we're doing. We're doing a podcast where you're supposed to look up the shit we're talking about. Yeah, man. I just we're just talking about stuff we needed you to look yeah, up. Yeah, we're trying to figure out this fucking look up beer monthly club. beer club. Monthly, monthly beer, beer clubs. Club. Let's see monthly. what the fuck they're called because I was looking at one. I was trying. To, like, I mean, if you want to stay on eBay, just take take your ox off and hand it to Jaden. Jaden seems yeah. seems like he could do it. Yeah, go to the top oh, yeah, ten. You're only on an ox. Because yeah. I was thinking about joining one. It's forty dollars a month, and they give you some. How much do they send you? I I think it differs. Oh, you clicked the top link, didn't you? I would love getting. No, that one. That one's a good one. It's, oh, okay. Uh, uh, what is that one called? That's the one thirty nine. Yeah, they're all. F- they're, they're all about forty. Oh, okay, yeah. Beer across, beer across America, America, beer drop. Doesn't sound right. Beer doesn't drop. sound right. Craft beer club. None of these sound right, dude. Those aren't none of the ones you've heard of. No. The rare but, beer I mean, club? I don't know. I couldn't even remember the fucking name. So what the fuck do I know? Craft beer, the month know, club, man, but... monthly beer club, 12 bottles of beer. So most of them are 12, a 12 pack for $40. I yeah. think it's a monthly beer club. But I, I'm pretty sure it's a... Uh, or beer of the month club. Whatever. It's like mix and match. Josh, the, Josh was right. They'll send you a 12 pack from a things, brewery. Man. Well, if From for, different for, breweries. For $40 yeah. goddamn dollars for a 12 pack, it better get me, <laughs> it better get me fucking lit off of one fucking sip. 
Oh, it should. It's more so if you're just trying to ch- taste all kinds of different breweries. Oh, it's the shipping. See, it's only thirty dollars a month. That's where they're fucking you. Mm, yeah, take cost ten dollars. Like, ship wow, it. dude, get your fucking get get your shit streamlined. Get that free <laughs> shipping, and you'll get more members. I promise. Yeah, get dude. rid of the middleman. Yeah, I'd rather. I don't know. That sounds awesome, but it's hard. You ever heard it's, of fucking stamps dot com? The Growler Pod is brought on this podcast. Yeah, I was talking about stamps.com. Dude, that would have been a fucking Do you need to ship some shit? Beautiful transition. Do you need some stamps? Hey, you need some shit shipped out? Have you ever wanted to ship a box of shit to one of your friends and just as a joke? and you write, just need stamps. Write porn on the box so that everybody thinks he's ordering porn? Not just porn, stamps. but... Stamps.com. <coughs> Stamps.com will do it twice as expensive as the post office. They'd say they have their ads that they say that they're going to do it cheaper than the post office, but if you actually walk your fat ass over there and do it yourself, it's much cheaper. Do you know there's people that collect oh. stamps? And uh, if Stamps.com is ever an advertiser, we're going to have to uh, delete that segment of this uh, podcast. <coughs> so save that if you want it. Uh, fuck them. I would never collect stamps. What do you think? How, how do you, I don't even know how you go about that. Ah, that's a strange hobby for sure. So I'm yeah. saying, like, oh, this stamp's gonna be great one day. Oh, this stamp's fire as fuck. Like everybody's like, damn, he's got the damn. fucking Abraham Lincoln '94. Oh, he's got the he's got the '94 Abraham Lincoln with the fucking crooked wow, nose. Wow, dude, look at that. That's a Statue of Liberty '20. Wait, wait, is that misprint? <laughs> oh my god, he's got the misprint from 09. Oh, he's got the one where you can if you look close enough you can see your nipples. Dude, that's worth at least $1,000. That's the most expensive stamp out there, oh, period. Jesse the rest signature. of them are worth like a dollar at the most. Fucking liberty. You think they got fucking bald eagle joints or like holographic joints? Like, oh yeah, probably. I don't no. know why I said bald eagle. I I straight up the first word that was supposed to come out of my mouth was holographic. Make some bald eagles, yeah, they got them. Holographic bald eagles, though. No, you know they'd be having some fucking like bald that eagles that nine eleven commemorative holographic bald eagle. Like mm. I could picture that joint. Oh, are you doing? Anyways, nice. nice. Uh, we're about to do an ad. We uh. We're about to be. We're hiring. So. Danny grab or uh, Jaden grab his phone and look up uh, stamps. Most expensive stamps. Look, man. Danny's always fucking shit up. Like always, gets up in the middle. No warning. So I'd like to give a shout out to Anchor. Let's get it. The Growler Pod is brought to you by Anchor. Anchor is the easiest way to stay podcasting. It's free. They provide all the tools. They pretty much have everything you need, from your computer to your phone, everything. All fucking like broadcast media. Anchor's got you covered. They distribute it on all platforms. Apple, Spotify, Google, all of them. Best part, you can make it off your podcast with no minimum internship. So what are you waiting for? Get started on your podcast today. Download Anchor for free or go to the Anchor website to get started. I for sure got to fucking type those up. Wow, man, that was really well executed. I uh, did probably uh, butcher Nick's uh, uh, his text there, but well, you know what? Uh, compared to last week when you read it, last week you were at about a three of ten. You 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 bumped up to a five. Yeah, dude, yeah, you dude, did pretty we're, good. We're trying, You're man. getting better. It's so not minimum internship; it's minimum listenership, and that's go the back only, to that's the, the only thing I'd really change. Uh, but see, we can't did inter- a good job. internship, but that could be a big deal because uh, you don't want to go there that for internship. You did a good job. Nineteen twenty Washington two trying. cent stamp. Thanks, anchor. Thanks, anchor. That's a good flip right there, man. Thanks for saving us a bunch of money a month on hosting fees. Fuck yeah, right, anchor. Thanks, yeah. Thanks for saving me face when I'm saving Jesse. I guess Jesse paid it. Up. Yeah. Now we can start getting, like, how many people are actually watching our shit. Did that boy G-Dub? Yeah, George Washington. It's from 1920. It was a two-cent stamp, so now it's worth probably about 300,700% of what it was worth originally. Oh, go down. The price was right 000. there, was it not? Oh, $37,000 stamp. $37,000. Yeah, 1920 well, Washington two cents. All right, bid. Now we're at 37000 Bid 30. Used. Well, of course it's used. <laughs> All right, Jaden, I need yeah, you to I was about to bid. say used. Like, nah, you ain't got a mint condition. Oh, uh, hell, they used, boy. man. I need you to bid 37000 and a penny on that real quick. Dude, I wonder, like, you know how we take for granted all the shit? Like, uh, that we don't think is going to be worth the shit? Like, yeah. Now, like, back in that day, they were probably like, well, it's just a fucking stamp. Fuck it. Like, I'll rip well, this hell, mail Well, hell, just open. a stamp, man. I'll wipe my ass with this mail because it's the 1920s and I don't have toilet paper. Dude, yeah, some people be sticking wipe my with ass stamps with leaves. off of their all fucking, like, 
the right way. It's the 1920s. and oh, I So the 1920s are like the 2020s. How about that? No toilet paper. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, comes. 1918 Spanish flu. Full circle. So we're coming full circle on the stamp game it's right now. It's been 100 now. years. So, so like, what you're saying is we need to start collecting stamps. Please, if somebody that listens. <laughs> like, uh, like now we see the fucking value. Like, oh, shit. Please, this if somebody that fucking collects stamps is listening to this podcast, will you please DM me and just tell me about it? Please send us an email, thegrowlerpod at gmail.com. Please. We would love to hear your full life please, story. Please, somebody, if you collect stamps, please reach out. I'm just going to, if you send, if you ask me to start collecting stamps, I'm going to blow load an envelope, put a stamp on it, and send it to you. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to fucking. You just open up a crusty ass envelope. Just, what the fuck, <laughs> what the fuck, fuck, fuck is this? <laughs> What the hell? Right? This smells like this smells like salty marshmallows. Yeah, <laughs> I'll just pound a bunch of pineapples. Like, wow, this is pretty. Smells pretty nice. Somebody, and this guy must be Hawaiian. I remember being in like sixth grade, and some kid was talking about what pussy tastes like, and he was like, "I heard it tastes like salty marshmallows." And <laughs> it's, never, it's never left me ever since. And I'm like, hey, "It's kind of right. It is a little sweet, and a little tangy sometimes." I, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. Test that theory out. And see, <laughs> pussy tastes like salty marshmallows sometimes. Mm. I just, remember, just give it a shot, dude. You'll be like, damn, it kind of does. <laughs> I'll try it. Dude. I remember I asked someone. I what, have no reason to buy marshmallows, but I guess. Nah, just remember, like, think about was, taking a big bite of a marshmallow peep and fucking smelling your own fart. That's well, what pussy, t- pussy <laughs> tastes like. I've never fucking it, it, eaten a peep, and I never would because they're the worst candy I've ever made. Well, then maybe you'll like them if you like eating pussy. Well, you I got mean, me there, dude. You know, you got me there, right? One Fuck. time in high school, I asked, same, I asked this kid you know what I mean? that yeah. had gotten laid, like and I hadn't gotten laid. I asked him like what pussy snowcone. felt like, and he said it felt like like a really good quicksand. <laughs> I'll never forget that. <laughs> like a nice quicksand. It's like it's like quicksand, but like quicksand. really good. It's like a good quicksand. Yeah. It's not just like a regular quicksand. Yeah. It's a good and I'm quicksand. like, well, I've never felt quicksand, but that analogy makes great sense right now. <laughs> oh. And then I got then I got pussy, and I was like, yeah, it's kind of like quicksand. It's I guess. Kind of like a, a good. Do you imagine quicksand. what quicksand feels like? Because I don't want to get out of it. Like it feels like well, it's pulling yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Get, yeah, I, right. think, I, I believe yeah, that yeah, yeah, you you actually would prefer to be getting out of quicksand if you were in it. Yeah, that's for true. Sure. But you can't get out. of Maybe it. he got bad pussy. His Have first you guys time. ever seen quicksand like in real life? Not in per, not. I've never seen life. it for real, but I get it. I've like, seen it in videos. Yeah, I've seen it like eat a camel and shit. I feel like I when I was a kid, I I feel like we were at the lake so one time somewhere. Ute Lake. Yeah. I feel like I was at Ute Lake when I was a kid one time, and my dad like fucking was in some quicksand or something. Dude, I, I watched a video on how to escape from quicksand. So now, if I ever get caught in the middle of a safari and I'm in quicksand, up. how do you get out? Yeah. So it, once you start getting in, if you try to just like climb out like that, oh, you're you're, it seizes up your feet. Like it'll it'll clamp them in because it basically is removing the water from it and kind of drying up the sand. That's how it works. So what you have to do, you can't move both feet at once. What you have to do is you have to lean to like one side and kind of take all the weight off of the other leg because that's what's, that's what's making it close in is your weight, putting your weight down. So you lean to like your right side and you just kind of shake your leg free like nice and easy just like that. Like you start shaking it free and it pushes uh, the sand around. You let it build a- and you shake it all free mm. until you can pull your leg out. Then you pull your left leg out. You put your knee down and then your right leg still suck. So if you try to rip it out, like that's the, mo- that's the common reaction. You try to pull your leg out real fast. It just gets stuck in there harder. So you have to like lean on your left side and start shaking that one loose. <laughs> and then you slowly pull it out. And then you, you're you finally on top of the sand and you can get out. So it's did you watch this out. as a Navy SEAL or as a, a normal person? <laughs> just a normal person. <laughs> yeah, I just, uh, was, I just stumbled upon a video, man. It's pretty interesting. And it's crazy because you actually can just stand on quicksand. But it's like if you or if you can like if you jump on it like hard, it doesn't like pull you in. It's almost like, remember you go to the science fair and you're like hitting that shit? It's like yeah. liquid if you go like that. But if you hit it hard, it like s- stiffens up and you can't put your hand through it. You never, you ever felt even, that shit? I don't even understand quicksand. Dude. It, it's just like a sandy water mixture where it's not combined. And it's just like the water is pushing through the sand the and the sand is so buoyant. Like it's the there's no buoyancy in there and it's just like. There's just no buoyancy to it, and it's just this. Mess. Yeah. So the sand, the, the way it works is the water's pushing out of the sides every time, and it keeps pushing out and pushing out. Yeah. And if you, like, pull fast, then the then the water goes out faster. Then. Anytime I think of quicksand, I think of uh, um, Mario sixty four. 
Oh yeah, there is where quicksand. You, you just fucking die in that so shit. Yeah, no matter what, there's no escape. <laughs> yeah. What's the key? It's basically not panic. That's why they tell struggle. you. That's why they say yeah, don't panic in all struggle. the movies. But it's just basically getting weight to one side, getting one leg free, and getting it out. Yeah, I get. What so you're you want to focus on getting explain. one side of your body out before the other. You gotta let that shit, that sand build up so you can step on it. If it's, if you're trying to step through that water, you're gonna push it out of the way. But once that sand builds up and gives you some traction, then you can kind of move a little bit. Mm-hmm. It's fuck. It's a fucked up concept, dude. Cause like movies and shit, man. When you're a little kid, they have you out here thinking like quicksand's like a fucking everyday struggle. Like you're on your way to work, you're like fuck quicksand. Like shit, I'm. Gonna, you call your boss. I'm gonna be late, man. Why? Quicksand. Oh shit. All right. Well, yeah, it's just one of those things some quicksand. that oh, used to okay, be a deal. Sorry, man. Oh, now shit. nobody even thinks about quicksand anymore. You're like, what the fuck? They didn't bring it back, dude. It, it was, was like hot. a 90s thing. Like, it was, 90s dude. babies it was were just like, terrified of quicksand. I it, bet if we went hot, to man. a place where there was sand, I'd I'd be tripped up. Yeah, just because you'd think about quicksand? Yeah. Quicksand's fucking quicksand. is real. We got to stop saying quicksand. It sounds weird now. <laughs> Shit's strange, dude. That makes me think about Reese's Fast Break. You ever had one of those? <clears throat> no. Yeah, I have. Is it the Skittles? Nah. Nah, it has, it has everything in it but Skittles, though. It has, like, fucking pretzels. and. Oh, that's what it is, huh? It is fire. It's I've been going off on them, uh, those Oreo kisses. If you could buy one candy bar right now off the top of your head, what would it be? Just go. Hershey's cookies and cream. Snickers. I was gonna say Snickers too. But Actually, Nick, Hershey's cookies and cream. Nick, is uh, that's a banger though. Yeah. Hershey's cookies and cream rips, dude. dude. And I probably rip, told man. this story on the podcast before, but I'll tell it again. Oh, when I was like seven, uh, this kid Andrew Mays gave me a whole Hershey's cookies and cream, and I ate the whole thing and threw it up. And I didn't eat Hershey's cookies and cream until I was probably like nineteen. I don't know if you said that. I was, but, I was I scarred mean, for life for fair. a while, and now you know I'm back on board with it. Dude, had one the other day. Those are so fire. Shit though. ripped. I remember the first time I ever had one. I was like, what is this? Actually, I don't know why I didn't say Almond Joy, man. Almond Joy is probably my favorite shit. I remember the first time. Oh, I like dude, coconut. I fuck, dude, I fuck so hard. Most with people some don't like joy. coconut. Dude, I fucking would eat some coconut out right now, bro. Coconut fucking rips, bro. It fucking rips, dude. Coconut mm. water, coconut. Yeah, coconut water, coconut mm. candy. Is it water? Okay, that, dude, that fucking I'm torn. coconut. Ice cream we had at Aaron's house the other night. Mm, That's the oh, best shit. those mm, fucking the little Mexican. Mm, mm, yeah, I know y'all have had you know those the coconut before, man. Mm, mm. Hey, y'all talk about coconuts. I climbed coconuts. This fucking guy. You climbed wow. a coconut? I, I've climbed coconut trees. Okay, well, what does that? I mean, wow. Does that just make you better than us now? No, <laughs> oh, dude. So you're the well, subject I'm matter expert now? Coconuts. You're just the best coconut. Just because you climbed a coconut tree makes you a subject matter expert on the Did you fuck coconuts. it too? Did you fuck the tree too? When I was in Miami, I fucking I flung my skateboard up and yes. knocked coconuts off of you that. That seems yes. way cooler than climbing up it. You know, coconut coconuts falling out of trees kill like a hundred people a year. Hmm. I'm not warm. Those fuckers are huge. Who would win, one coconut tree or one COVID nineteen boy? Mm, it's close. <laughs> one COVID nineteen or one coconut tree? Did your head touch a fucking ceiling? Oh, bro. Tree in the Philippines. Philippines. I wonder how the Philippines is doing right now. That's a whole topic. Yeah, they're all out on their own, huh? She got COVID. Like oh. Just like a coconut three. trees. She coconut three, trees? She, she bought three five hundreds off of other people, so she has plus her five hundred plus <sighs> spear. So she has other people's five hundred. Wow, so uh, she has two thousand? She has a lot of trees. Coconut trees. Like, in the Philippines? In the Philippines, like right behind our house. Well if I had two So she just fucking bank off of fucking coconuts or what? Hold on. How many coconut Hold trees on. are in the Philippines? Hold on. There was a typhoon, so they gave everybody 500 coconut well, trees? Well, they just fucking unplant these trees I don't like under- on Animal Crossing? I don't understand. And they just have them? So, so, like, the entire beach was covered in coconut trees. Uh-huh. And 
the typhoon came through, which in, what was in 2013. Okay. And everybody was like, oh, well, like, all of our houses got washed away. And then we have, like, all these coca trees that got washed away. And then they were like, all of you get, like, 500 coconut trees. I have and they were so like, many questions. All right, so, like, a lot of them sold off the coconut trees so they could get money. That's crazy. Make money. So that was their stimulus check was like, coconut trees. I'm going to give, like, at least four. <laughs> All right, right, let's get to the point. My mom, so we have, like. <laughs> so you balling on coconut, coconut trees, trees or not? So you got a shitload of coconut, coconut trees. Tree farm this, okay, that's what we wanted to hear. All right, get them, boys. Get them, boys. My main question, <laughs> you guys banking off of coconuts or no? Uh, I mean, we're making money. Yeah, you, you almost said bank. You, were, you, were, you didn't want to say it, but... Yo, if we, I, money off of are you busting nuts or not, bro? Dude. We're making, we're, we're making minimum money off of coconut trees, not minimum bank. Money. I'd be embarrassed if I owned 2,000 coconut trees and didn't climb one either. Yeah, you got a we, point we, now. We have all right, Danny. I have so many questions, guy. but you're, the, you're, you're, the you're really player. fucking. Like it's for another time. All right, you win this round, boy. You you're really, yeah. You we spent this. way too many, much time on coconut trees. You win, for sure. <laughs> you win this round. I have a ton of questions after the podcast. Yeah, well, that's a long. You, that's a longer conversation. That's a conversation set for for the take, future, just Danny. Take, just take your W. Conversation for later, because that's a long just conversation. Take, just take your W, man. Just take to your be win. had. Just He's got fucking two hundred five thousand. Hundred coconuts in his butt. With, Danny, without uh, rolling all the way out in your chair, will you check that camera? I can't. I really hope it's still going. I, yeah, it's okay. still going I, norm- I normally flip the fucking thing over, but yeah, all right, we're chilling. Lola, oh, I, fucking, yeah, I rubbed time. the fucking booger out of my nose, boys. Dude, I be sneezing like a motherfucker anytime I go outside. I think that's allergies, right? Yeah, it's allergies because I went outside today and I uh, chest hurt. I got the lawn mowed, and then I sprayed for bugs and shit, and I came in. I was sneezing up a storm, dude. Yeah, man. Chester. It's that time of time. It's that time of year where it's. Am I hungover? Do I have COVID or do I have allergies? It's crazy that there's a there's a new wrinkle in there. Do I got COVID? That's always in the back of everyone's mind. Like, could be you COVID. Start, you start breathing harder, or you start like. You're like, ah, shit. You're like, like that, this, that fucking, that swallow hurt a little bit. This I could be go. my last two weeks on oh, earth. Better oh. make them count. Is this that shit? So, Here it is. This is it. It's is, my man. fucking time. Oh, it's man. My, if it's my time to go, it's my time to go, man. It starts burning when you piss a little bit. Just, uh. Yeah, yeah. do I have fucking HIV, too? What's going on here? Do I have fucking... Wait, you start HIV? Qu- questioning some fucking... Do oh, I have shit. chlamydia? Oh, shit, wait. What no. happens when it burns when you pee? Wait, what are you talking about? You're all fucking Googling fucking COVID. We're talking about the coronavirus. Yeah, but I mean... It burns you know, when you pee when you get chlamydia, too. You, get, you, you call over that corona, babe. Uh-oh. You know? Uh-oh. Next thing you know, you got coronavirus and fucking chlamydia. Ew. You yeah. rolled the, you rolled the no dice comment. on two diseases you didn't want. No See, comment. I'm telling you, dude, this was a soundboard meant to be up let's just say i need to go to the doctor we could have been like the fucking crickets we had them so many times coconut trees and shit yeah for sure you guys can down to go to strip clubs when they open back up i mean do we even really have one i'm sure it'll be a while or do we still have fucking dollhouse texas texas will probably be earlier than everybody else but Especially what, Amarillo. What, Amarillo don't give a what fuck. Strip, I mean, are we just talking about strip clubs? Like, are we still talking about, like, dollhouse and shit? Or did we get something else? The doll. Hold on. The Danny's dollhouse. talking and you're talking. The dollhouse. Yeah, I don't know why he's talking. Dollhouse. I don't know either. Danny, you have to stop talking, dude. Sorry. It's just... I'm sorry, but you're... He's talking. You're talking. No, like, we can't hear what the fuck everybody's saying. I was just talking about strip clubs. I was like, did we get a new one or something? Or we still I have wish, like, dude. Strip no, there's supposed to be the Bomb City Cabaret that was going to open soon. Yeah, the one out by Beavers. Yeah, exactly. So that was going to open soon, but dude, I'm sure. I've only ever I heard of that. I think Devin's thought. parents. That's Devin's parents' business. No uh, shit. getting into strip clubs now? I, I really fucking want to think it is, dude. That'd be amazing. Get We're going to have to ask him. I'd chat. definitely go to that fucking. Maybe he's in the chat. He'll probably chime in. Yeah, Devin, what's up on that? No, he's not. Wow, what a fucking friend, huh? <laughs> hey, he said he was going to come over there. Roast him. Everybody's kind of taking the day off. We're yeah, trying. I did We're I trying. did see the dollhouse snow cone stand. 
Oh yeah, we, we talked about that. What, yeah, we talked week? about it last week. Yeah, we did before. talk about it last week. I don't remember if it was. No, I app. think it was week before. Last. I'll definitely go get a banana flavored snow cone there and hope nobody stuck their dick in it. It was just like shaped like a dick, like in there. Yeah, they're all. Oh, you want the banana flavor? Huh? Oh, you would like want the banana flavor. Yeah, I'll bring oh, it. Hey guys, there's a new bear at the stand. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey boys, go get the bear. New bear. There's a new bear at the stand. The fucking male strippers come out, fucking twirling their hey, dogs. There's, oh, there's a new bear in line. <laughs> <laughs> twirling their dogs. That's the term, right? A gay bear. What is, what is the With actual that dick term tassel? for being like a gay bear? Is it like just some big fucking? No, like, they just call them bears. I mean, Jesse, Jesse yeah, would qualify. Yeah, as I mean, a bear. yeah, you got to. I'd fit definitely the term, be a bear, but, man. But why do you have to be gay to be a bear? I'm a bear in the in the straight field. You I guess had a straight bear. I mean, I think if it's a gate, I, it's just. You're just a homosexual dude, but you're fucking hairy. I remember being on AOL and Messenger as a child, and that was one of the categories. It was like, it was like bears. all of them. It was like gay. It was like gay bears, and I was like, oh, what's a gay bear? <laughs> <laughs> like, what is? Are the teenagers gay like, otter, gay seal, that? gay t- gay twink? It was just gay bears. Gay though. twink. <laughs> See, I don't Nowadays, know. I don't know like what dirt. the fuck otter and seal are for sure. Is that a thing? Is there a gay? Yeah, look, yeah. Look up That's gay, for sure. Uh, gay terms like bear. <laughs> bear yeah, there you go gay culture wikipedia bear, gay all right danny click on it yeah look click on gay culture and see all, all the other uh nicknames in male gay culture a bear is often a larger or obese hairier man who protects an image of a rugged masculinity projects not protects bears are one of many lgbt communities with Events, codes, and culture. Basically, it's just a big old hairy, fat gay boy. Yeah, but I want to. I want to learn about otters, <laughs> twinks, twinks. There's no gay in any way. What are you talking about? Yeah, there is. <laughs> you can be gay, straight, bi, whatever you want to be. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I do. Yeah, there is. You can be you want to be I'm sure actual bears fuck each other. Look up fucking <laughs> seals and otters. We got to figure out what. <laughs> Look at the gay bear logo. It's are. got a fucking sick paw in the left corner, and it's like an LGBT. I swear to God, just search bears T. And in bear, bears, Y-T. otters, seals, gay community. <laughs> yeah, what's a gay seal? Bears. <sighs> bears, <laughs> otters, seals, gay community. Gay seal. It's just the, all off of that one. It's always sunny. Oh, okay. But yeah, anyway, gay bear is just. Yeah, we already went over it. So, anyways, back to that. So, okay, we're these are actually gay bears. Like, there's <laughs> like an oh no no there it is homosexual panda bear. Yeah yeah that's it I think the bear community exists as a subculture and a, yeah yeah. I List of mammals saying no, that's all something different. Gay if subculture. I had to take if I had to take yeah, a yeah, guess, yeah. I feel like uh, a seal would be like a completely. Slight. Completely. Slightly hairy, but not as I big as like a bear. I feel like it'd be just the opposite. Of I was gonna say bear. completely hairless. Wow, this is whole. This hairless, is whole like a fucking like a hairless boy. That's I was like gonna say completely 18. hairless. What's up? I don't know. Why aren't you on a mic? Like because they because, take it from both ways. Yeah, they don't just fucking dog on gay people. They actually are like. Super four gay people, and they like they do they, both they sides like, of everything. They take on characters. Like they, don't they take on characters that are trying to negative. act ignorant. They're like, if you if you follow us, they hey man, like gay seal. You're not rooting for the bad person in it. You're rooting against them. We yeah, Mike tonight, man. Right. Yeah. You're always rooting against them. <clears throat> What the fuck are you talking about? And it's why? always sunny. I know you're talking about sunny. it's always sunny. Like, you're always rooting against the people. Like, because Danny, you have talked more tonight than you ever have in the whole yeah, collective dude, how of much the fucking did you drink 60 tonight? episodes we've so, ever What done. did you do on the way over here? Because Sam did it last weekend. <laughs> yeah, dude. Here. What have you and Sam been doing on the way over to these podcasts? Y'all been doing Sorry. some new shit? <laughs> that new stuff. For real. It's on something new. Some... I mean, I want some. Trying to feed the beast. That's what Some material. Says. I have a whole page of material. We haven't covered one topic because we've been fucking thrown off. Yep. We feeding the beast. Hey, it's all my fault. No momentum, man. No, it's that, uh. Ninety-five percent. Sorry, YouTube. 
I've told you to shut the fuck up like three <laughs> times. So yes, it's your fault. All right, I'm done. All right, thank you. All right. I don't know. No, I don't. It's too fucking weird to get into the topics now. <laughs> no, dude, we can get into something. <laughs> no, it, man. it has to be natural. Dude, I'll pull my dick out right here just to show. I mean, it. <laughs> nothing more natural than a dick. I'm still thinking about Dude, my thing. dick is the only thing that's not natural right now. Wow. Wait, what's not natural about it? Just uh, the girth on it, man. <laughs> Did you get? Like, you a... see the girth on my dick, bro? You're going to be wishing Shamu had more room. Did you get some girth surgery? You're going to be like, Shamu has plenty some of room gir- to live. Some girdery. This fucking... <laughs> This fucking gir- this fucking dick's living in captivity, bro. Gurgery. What do you feed that thing? Fucking grapes. Do you think it's sad? They yeah, dude. Sometimes I grape. Sometimes I pull my dick out and drop it on a grape, and it smashes the grape. They did surgery on a grape. Dude, that's amazing. And I'd watch that video. Yeah, Cut the layer fire. of the skin on outside of it. Like with little instruments. Dude, could you imagine? <laughs> dude, they did it. The, it was a computer that did it did too. Did we ever talk about that? Could you do surgery on a grape? I mean, if I had the right instruments and a lot of uh, a lot of patience, I feel like we talked about it like maybe if I had like, like eight like, or nine. I think we did. Well, yeah. people much made a big deal about them doing surgery on a grape. Well, they didn't make a big deal, but it was like a meme kind of thing. Yeah. It, was, it was definitely yeah. a meme. It's the meme culture, man. If you don't understand the meme culture, you're just gonna get trolled online video. on the internet twenty four seven. It was a tight oh, video, yeah. man. They, uh, the troll culture is just so fucking amazing, man. It's probably the best thing. I can't explain it. Like yeah. Like, Oh, that was almost the yeah. third spill because I was stretching again. It'd been dude. great, man. You just trying, laugh you're just trying to be comfy, but really, I gotta watch the first spill and see if I was stretching that time too. I don't know what you did. Yeah, you don't like that. Is that what it was? That was yeah. the second spill. Oh, okay, first spill. I don't know what you did. The no, first spill was with, one was a lot of stress involved. The first spill was me, Scott, and Josh. It was when you were out of town. Yeah, I remember seeing it now. I don't remember what the fuck you did. <sighs> If only we had someone to pull it up. Right? <laughs> uh, no I mean, hey, shout out to people listening right now. We're definitely going to be doing applications soon. So. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if, any, if you've ever wanted and to Devin, to throw be, your resume in because you're a front runner. Toss your name in that, <laughs> Devin Maldonado. I know you have my number personally. Yeah, man. Dude, maybe I did make this table too big. Tell Devin I got it is pretty hand. large. It could be two feet. I mean, I mean, it's a little too big. The only thing we're missing right now is a black couch. Oh, I I plan on All buying right. a couch right there. Dude. One of the dogs busted ass. I bet you could make this table smaller pretty easily. I think it was this one. I for sure could, man. Yeah, man. You get a fucking jigsaw. You yeah. know, I actually got a miter, go hire. I got a miter saw now. Go hire a Mexican worker from Home Depot. Should man. And I can say that because I'm Mexican. You can. All we gotta do is flip the camera around the like they're saying and put a black couch up there. Yeah, black couch. Know. Yeah, man. Next I thing you know, I want it to be dude, big, man. I wanted us to have more fucking space because we didn't have space ever. Dude, this is pretty good though because, I, dude, we should get Lola a dog. There's bed. a lot of porn scenes you can film in this basement, oh, yeah. and I'm just talking about we get girls that are desperate for money because of COVID. <laughs> they're not scared to do porn with guys with medium to large size penises. Medium, large. All right, Lola. I can't smell that the whole time. And then, you come know, on. Come on, little girl. bring them down here. She... Get a little small chat going. Next thing you know, come on. we're making fucking Pornhub money, dude. Amateur porn with high quality 4K HD video, man. We're going to have all those like close-up videos, too. We're going to have like the double angle one where like we show her getting drilled from the bottom. And then we're going to have like that... That round the angle where you can see the dick going in from the back part, like where you can yeah, see, like, dude. Like you know that little line that goes through your dick, like that like weird little part. Yeah, of the skin like separates. We're gonna have that view. Yeah, dude, that view is pretty good. I, I mean, What's I just like called? seeing, I just like seeing a girl and get really just, reamed. And it's just balls pounding ass. Yeah, you just see balls pounding ass, and you see the dude's butthole and her butthole. It's just like smashing on top like, of each other. Imagine, Anytime I'm watching fucking porn from that angle, I'm just like, how the fuck these dudes get their fucking butthole shaved so fucking Dude, perfect? exactly, right? man. Yeah, they, they fucking, gotta have someone doing it. You dude. know how, Nick? Shout out to our sponsor, Manscaped. Yo, I bought a lawnmower last week, boys. They're fire, bro. Dude, so I think, we, we're lawnmower boys. We should be sponsored. Dude, dude I, yeah, I got a lawnmower as well. That angle's a great angle, though. Just imagine Free Willy swimming into a cave. Yeah, for real, man. Like, see, that's like the angle the of. See, that's the angle oh, yeah. where you're kind of just buying time. Like, you're going, 
You know, you're watching it and you're like, okay, it's all right, but I'm just buying time right. I don't want to blow to this fucking angle. It's like you know, it's a good angle. It's like when you're watching. It's like you want to see the angle, but you don't want to blow oh, yeah. to the angle. You you know you know exactly what you want to fucking right. blow to. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah, you you either, I'm either it. blowing to doggy style or a missionary. We can see dick going in pussy. That's what I'm you try to mimic it, like you're like. They like start flipping around, so you're jacking this way, and then you flip your hand, and you're doing it like yeah, the so fucking like, okay, opposite yeah, 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 way. So you're like, oh, fucking, like, oh, the, the spinneroonie. Yeah, you, you fucking put your hand under your legs, and you fucking get it from here. And yeah, you pull like, your legs back. I call that the mankind. Yeah, the mankind. Yeah, yes. you know how like when so- he had Socko. <laughs> It's like that, <laughs> so it's like he's coming up behind me. It's like, whoa! Yes. Like, what are oh, you doing here, Socko? Oh, Mr. Like, Mankind's got whoa, him! Mankind's oh, got him! Mr. Socko, what are you doing back there? <laughs> yeah, like that. That's amazing, yeah, dude. Like, that's, oh, how I, that's how I imagine it. It's amazing, dude. You're <laughs> out of your fucking mind. I just say it. That's just how I. Yeah, I dude. It. But for me, yeah, the the that fucking butthole view, I I just kind of play through it, and then <laughs> yeah, you, know. like you just like you just like play play through it like the first hour of work every day. You're just like, I'm yeah, in it. Know. I'm Go, in it. Like I'm here. I'm like, going I, through the I motions. Know, so. I know what to expect, but today could be the day. Like yeah. it, the worst shit is when yeah. you're you're fucking you're going through and you're like you're you're skimming through. You're just you know doing your thing like. <laughs> Trying to find like okay 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 and you're like pull in and then you and you you, 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 f- you you get through like almost the whole thing and like you're just like well at this point I gotta fucking I gotta finish this shit up so you gotta fucking go back through and find find something worth fucking blowing one to you're just like god damn it man I've, I've been wasting too much time or it's like or it's like you're pull, you're kind of pulling your pud and you don't want to touch the mouse with your pull pud hand. So you're like you're like go, you're like hitting switch with your the mouse. Pull put hand. Yeah, so you like hit switch with the mouse, and you're like looking, and you're like, all right, let me let me check your that pull out. Pull put hand. Oh, yeah, dude. like you don't want to touch the mouse because you've been pulling on your dick. Have you ever been like, okay, dude? I don't know if you've ever been like whacking off and like with your phone, and you like lay it on your back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll whack like, it off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that does sound funny, huh? Uh, you just yeah. you just out here beating your meat. You just pull on some dick, like with you. Like, like just imagine you're on your couch. It don't matter. You're, I'll fuck. You're laying on your back hilarious. with your phone right here, bro. So like, imagine it, and then like yep. you're about to come, and you have your tissue or your sock or whatever ready, and you <laughs> fucking can't find it, dude. And you're like, you're about to nut. And you're like, fuck. And you like, you have to drop your phone to look for the fucking rag or whatever, and you can't find it sometimes. And then you just you blow a load right on your chest. I can <laughs> wholeheartedly say that's never happening. Yeah, uh, I, I don't. Well, I can. don't really. Bu- like I Be don't careful. So do you put like a napkin <laughs> down here and then blow on your? Oh, like I, I, I just like have it there, and it's just sometimes oh, you can't like find it. I'm I'm a fucking I'm a sit up buster. I'm yeah. not a lay down buster, dude. Yeah. I'm like I stand up. And I, blow. I'm, I'm, I'm like nine out of ten times I usually just do it in the shower because it's just like you know everybody takes at least one. Sh- I mean most of the time you take a shower one or two showers a day. The perfect time. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a single day shower for sure. Yeah, the, the shower the shower is always a good time to fucking bust a nut because there's no evidence. It's like you got an assortment of flavors. <laughs> no one can no, no one, evidence. No one can tell what you're doing. <laughs> when I was a kid, I'd blow loads in the shower. <laughs> I think I think I first figured out how to do it because like my fucking parents caught me doing it and they knew what I was doing. I didn't know what I was doing. But it was like <laughs> when I was real little, like I was like rubbing my dick on the bottom of the bathtub, dude. <laughs> what? Like, I, yeah, what? Like, like that's how I figured out how like oh this feels good. Yeah. Because like I think my, some my mom told me I was like trying to swim like a fish or something. I don't know, dude. <laughs> Let's talk about cold fingers. We already did. Shut and that's up, not part Danny. of the topic. No, I don't want to fucking talk hey. about it. It's irrelevant. All right. But yeah, dude, don't fucking show us that. Fuck that. Jesus dude, take that Christ. off. Holy fucking shit. God damn. I don't want to see that. Yeah, this is. I mean, oh, we're all aware of what it is. We I know what it is, it. dude. Take it off. That's fucking Holy terrible. Holy shit. Jesus. He looks like he has a chicken hand now. Yep. Holy shit, he has a chicken's hand. Holy fuck, dude. Holy shit, he has a rubber chicken's hand. Okay. All right, Colton. cool. Fuck. Shout out to you. Uh, I might have a... That sucks, buddy. Don't want to talk about it right now. Wow, you killed the whole fucking vibe. Because it's pretty fucking fresh, <laughs> man. Especially, I don't want to talk about jacking off now. Mm-mm. Yeah. I, was really I don't want to talk about anything. Uh, me and Jesse are really about to start vibing about. <laughs> Close that, dude. Yeah, for real. That's Get someone's. Dude, that shit happened very recently. Give him some time. 
Holy yeah, shit. Thanks. Jesus. It looked like a... Uh, I can't talk. There's a... Uh, go find, go find. I already talked about it now. Yeah, we, yeah we talked Be about careful it. with the computer. Jesus. We already did. We did he, it did. he said ago. he did it already. I brought it up already, and we were talking about beating our meat. No. Sorry. Nope. Oh, my Sorry. God. Four and a half stars. I missed you, man. <sighs> well, I guess we got to fucking get out of here. Cause I really missed our four and a half. Please don't. Please. We're trying to get five stars again so bad. Please. Five stars? What do we get five stars on? Our rating. We only have four and a half. Oh. On YouTube or what? On no, on iTunes. Because 4.5. <laughs> Here comes the crickets. Me, me, me. See, dude, this this was the perfect fucking <laughs> soundboard episode. We didn't have it. We were really doing a good job until we had to see the chicken hand. And yeah, Colton, that shit's you know, I, I get what we're going with. Colton, shout out to you. I don't think you listen to this, but if you do, I guarantee you, all the homies will be able to make up, make some things up to you one way or another. So, yep. Shout out to you, my man. I'm glad you can still fish. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I don't know. Looks like it's time to hit the dusty Look, trail. Uh, Jesse, you tired? Just yeah. Give, just give the old stretch. Uh, you need a ride? <laughs> you be all right? You need a ride? Or... <sighs> all right, guys. <laughs> Sorry for the fucking weirdest episode of all time. Episode 60 of the Growler Pod. Uh, go to thegrowlerpod.com. Follow us on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash growlerpod. And follow me if you'd like to, twitch.tv slash Neeks. I'll be doing some weird fucking editing, screen recording things. That's about all I got. What you guys think? It's really about it. I mean, uh, like like Nick was saying, just try to keep up with all, all three of us. Yeah, the, we're, the whole we're, about damn to, we're about to flood the fucking internet with, with content, baby. That's what I'm saying. The whole gang, man. We've, we real, we've really been dipping You want to watch Jesse Twitch. play RuneScape? He's been killing it lately. Yeah, we got Jesse on here and there. Escape. We got me covering whatever the fuck weird yeah. games I play. Josh, Josh built a whole fucking studio in his house and shit. Yeah, man, I got a whole studio. Uh, I mean, basically, uh, we're all we're all getting into Twitch Bas- now. Basically, so. we're fucking professionals now. So yeah, you can catch us live pretty much almost anywhere now. Also, I I want to give a big shout out to a uh, Yellow City Street Food. I mean, you guys. Oh yeah, dude. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for roasting on this beer earlier. It's great. I was just giving you a hard time. So we love you, Yellow City. Thank you. Thank you so uh, much. Hit them up, yellowcitystreetfood.com, 353-YCSF. That's 353-9273. Take out curbside, all that good stuff. Hit them up, man. We appreciate them. Thank you for the beers. Thank you again to Anchor, 8th Ave Tattoo, and yeah, man. That's it. That's it. That, that's all I got to say, man. Shout out to all them people, all my all my homies out there. See you. Till next time. Peace out. Now I got to fucking look like fucking bitch.